Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar, and today we got to look at one of the wildest things that had happened, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I do a lot of virus investigating, I do a lot of malware stuff on my channel, but I love when malware and video games combine, because honestly, that's like two of my favorite things, and boy, <laughs> this one was wild. Now, ladies and gentlemen, yesterday you probably heard about the Apex Legends Global Series. Now, Apex Legends Global Series, pretty big finals tournament, and in North America, it seems like two players literally had hacks installed on their system as they were playing live. It's an insane story. So I got some footage to watch over here and like actually witness. It's pretty insane. Look, one flash. Where, where? Like below here on my ping. I knocked him there. Yep. Wait. Wait, what the f what the f Don't worry about it. Don't worry I'm about getting it. hacked. I'm getting hacked. But I know, I know. It's sure. Can you play the game? Bro, I I'm getting hacked. I know, but can you play? Can you play? Yeah, but it, I'm ch it's cheating. No, sure. I know, I know, I know. What? Like what? No, but is what? it f your game? Yes, I can see everyone. Like I'm. You need to leave. You need to leave. You need to leave. I, I, I didn't leave the game, right? Wait, he has yeah, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Bro, like what bro, the? Bro, admins now. Nick, admins now. Nick, admins but, now. Kill the admins. I, I left. Now. I left. Like admins now. <laughs> Whoa! You might be like, what's going on there, Muda? Now, of course, if we look closely into this situation, in the middle of this game, again, an actual uh, mod menu fires up. TSM Halal Hook. Now, if you look carefully over here, you can see that this is a mod menu that's designed to literally give you extra powers. So, obviously, extra hacks, aimbots, ESP, so on and so forth. Now, at the left side over here, you can see that DZ Gen Burton right over here literally says Apex Legends Global Series. And then they were hacked by Destroyer 2009 and random with the A replaced as the number four. Now, of course, at the top left, you even have things like streamer mode being disabled and whatnot, which is not obviously good, especially if you're streaming a game to what appears to be thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people in a global series. Now, that being said, ladies and gentlemen, this popped up and for a minute I thought, whoa, maybe the actual pro player had a hack revealed. You know, it's not something that's totally out of the ordinary, but obviously as this progresses, you can see that they can actually identify players through the wall. So that is ESP, they're able to see people throughout walls, figure out where they are. Obviously not good for a game that is a battle royale where, big map, people are incentivized to hide and take angles on each other. Now, what was wild is if it was one pro player being hacked, that's insane during a global series. What if we add another one to the ante? What if we bump those numbers up, son? Can we shoot height? Can we shoot height? Yeah, yeah, shoot now. I'm, I'm, I'm cheating, I'm cheating, I'm cheating. I'm, I'm, I got aimbot, I have aimbot. Oh no. Uh, you gotta leave the game, you gotta leave the game, bro. You gotta out, leave bro. the game. There's north block, tick, 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 break, break it, it, break it, break it. I, I'm, I have aimbot oh, right now, I literally have aimbot. Leave the game! What if I just don't shoot? What if I just don't shoot? Okay, we gotta get to another building. Get to another building. Can we get to another building? Uh, Smoke that off. I can't. I'm smoking them. Hey, blue. 40 on, 40 on one. Walking down. Crossing, crossing. So, Raven, tell them I have aimbot right now. Okay, wait, no, I'm back. Uh, I'm cheating. No, I'm, I, I can't shoot. I can't shoot. I literally cannot shoot. I can't shoot. I cannot shoot. I'm definitely over here, Jordan. Get inside. Get inside. I don't have a smoke. You gotta res in. You gotta res up. No. I can't. I knocked one. I knocked one. I'm resing. They're trying to get in. Can we shoot? So this guy receives aimbot literally available right on command. And uh, obviously this is a player known as TSM Imperial Hal, and I don't believe that any of these players were actually cheating. Obviously this was injected into their system, and we'll get to that in a second. But this guy got aimbots, and obviously the team was like, bro, disconnect, we don't want to get disqualified, which obviously can happen when you're in a global series and there are hacks running on your systems. So because of the fact that obviously the actual hacker in this case actually wrote down that they were, you know, they gave their names, they were hacked by Destroyer 2009. Had that not been there, had that not been present, this would have been a debated topic between people today. This guy's entire career could be down the drain if it wasn't for the fact that the hacker out of themselves is actually hacking the global series. 
So again, ladies and gentlemen, it was a wild situation to witness. Now, there's a few little things that basically got tossed up. A group known as the Anti-Cheat Police Department, who I've had my own, you know, spats with from time to time when talking about virtual machines and whatnot, and don't get me wrong, I will talk about VMs in this video. That will happen. You know what channel you signed up for. Uh, they said, there is currently an RCE exploit being abused in Apex Legends. It's unsure whether it comes from the game or the actual Anti-Cheat, which in Apex Legends case, is easy anti-cheat, which is one of the most popular anti-cheats out there. I would advise against playing any games protected by EAC or any EA titles once they have fixed this or can comment. So right now there is no comment from Apex Legends because everything is so fresh. I can imagine right now the actual development team for Apex security teams are actually scrubbing through what could be the possibility. And it's gonna take a little bit of time before they get the answers. So they say currently the RC is being abused to inject cheats into streamers machines, which means they have the capabilities to do whatever, like installing ransomware software, locking up your entire PC. And this claim is entirely possible, okay? And RCE is known as remote code exploitation. And for those of you who don't know what remote code exploitation is, it's when a attacker gains access to a target computing device and basically is able to run arbitrary code, so programs or whatever. Uh, I guess the best example that I can give is two years ago I made a video in regards to a Minecraft Log4j, where Log4j was, at the time, so quick uh, re, uh, recap, Log4j was one of the biggest zero day vulnerabilities because it basically existed on a whole bunch of systems and cloud services as a logging library that just basically existed. And a whole bunch of companies had no idea because this dependency, which is pretty indirect, just pretty much lay dormant on a lot of their systems. And I made a video about Minecraft where I actually had launched the Log4j exploit. And in my video, I had showcased in real time how an attacker can, sh can actually hack a system. I had run the log4j uh, code, I'd run the actual exploit, and what I did was I launched a notepad instance on my actual, uh, you know, uh, victim virtual machine. Now in this situation, all I did was launch notepad. But because this is an RCE, you can imagine that an actual malicious hacker could install things, uh, you know, like uh, could install backdoors, rats, gain actual privileged access to your system. Maybe they could run a piece of ransomware that basically completely locks down your system and basically puts your files in hostage. There's a lot of nasty shit a hacker can do. And in this situation, what they appeared to do was actually hack the global finals. Now, that being said, that's just one example. So one of the actual uh, pieces of conversation that Anti-Cheat Police Department provided was from Destroyer 2009, the actual person claiming to hack the global finals. Do you actually have an RCE for Apex or is it purely server side? Destroyer says it's an RCE. Also just confirming the RCE he has nothing to do with R5, right? R5 devs are freaking cause Hal uninstalled R5 live with 40,000 people watching. And they said, yeah, it has nothing to do with R5. Cool, thanks, appreciate it. R5, from my understanding, is R5 Reloaded, which is actually a modding framework for Apex Legends. So if you wanna do things like customize servers, you know, things like cool little scripts that you can add, basically do whatever you want in, in the, outside the scope of official Apex Legends, that's right here, okay? I, I think it's like the 5M pretty much. Uh, not that I have any real understanding of Apex Legends modding. Uh, the last time I really played Apex Legends, I gotta say was maybe like a year ago. Won the match, but that's uh, how, far I, how far away I am from understanding Apex today. So even the R5 developers had come out and said, hey community, there's been some hacking incident with the current uh, Apex Legends Global Series match. When players get cheats installed out of the blue, we want to clarify that R5 Reloaded is not responsible for any of these hacking incidents. And obviously I'm sure that they don't want their name smeared. Uh, it takes a lot of trust for people to install anything modding related for a video game. So losing that trust could mean an absolute catastrophic situation for their game. And again, I haven't exactly looked into their tool either, so I can't confirm or deny, but if the hacker is claiming it and the actual developer, I'm pretty sure it's safe to say the blame lies with the actual game or potentially the anti-cheat, which is where I wanna shift focus to. 
Now, one of the things that I want to talk about immediately over here is some people have speculated that this is actually an underlying issue with Apex Legends in regards to the Source engine. And this is an RCE that you're seeing where basically somebody is launching the calculator through a Steam invite for Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Now, according to the actual developers, it is based on the Source engine, that is Titanfall, Titanfall 2, and Apex Legends. However, there have been a lot of under-the-hood improvements and changes that effectively these can be considered two separate engines. And remember, this Source engine exploit was detected all the way back years ago. So for it to still exist would be kind of questionable. I would think that Valve... EA and a lot of these companies for security reasons would work with each other in good faith to, in order to plug up whatever possible RC exploit could exist. That also said, I feel like if a bug like this existed in Apex Legends, I would see it more reflected even in games like Titanfall 2. Um, I wouldn't say the original Titanfall since I don't even think that's as active anymore. But yeah, that's one of the things that sort of wrapped into my head. There's been a c comparison, but these are effectively two separate game engines. They may have had the same base at some point, but development changes a lot of things. Now, while Apex Legends, all they've said is due to the competitive integrity of the series being compromised, we've made the decision to postpone the NA finals at this time. And they'll share more information soon. So right now it's them trying to figure out how this had actually happened. So the blame, it seems, could possibly lie with Easy Anti-Cheat. Now, Easy Anti-Cheat is by far one of the most popular anti-cheat solutions out there. And if you want to know the list of games that Easy Anti-Cheat runs with, here, let me bring it up. So these are all games that are fired up with Easy Anti-Cheat according to the Steam database. So you've got games like Elden Ring, you've got Halo Master Chief Collection, Armored Core 6, Fires of Rubicon. I didn't even know that game had a multiplayer component, but today I'm figuring out new things. Battlebit Remastered, Intruder, Rust. A lot of the most popular games that exist are fired up with easy anti-cheat. So even games like Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. There are games that I didn't even expect to be on this list, but they're there. Easy anti-cheat is huge. And if easy anti-cheat is being violated, this almost puts this up with Log4j. If there's something wrong in easy anti-cheat, then all these games are at risk. And if Easy Anti-Cheat is to blame, Easy Anti-Cheat has some of the highest elevated permissions on your system anyways. So no matter where you're sitting, from my understanding, if there is a remote code exploit sitting inside Easy Anti-Cheat's uh, software stack or anything, then there are a lot more games currently at risk. But that also makes me wonder, if Easy Anti-Cheat is to be blamed, then a lot of these games would also have similar issues. The only other game that kind of reminds me of this situation is maybe Dark Souls or Elden Ring. These games typically had RC exploits sitting inside them as well, to the point where Bandai Namco actually had to reduce PC servers or shut them off just so they could sort this problem out. There was even older Call of Duty games that had sim similar issues as well with RC exploitations, going all the way up to even games like Black Ops 3, which isn't that old. But to show you an example of what RC you look like with Elda or Dark Souls 3, here's the footage. So here it is. They're getting in. Everything seems fine. They do not care. And BAM! So what happened was in the middle of nowhere, a hacker joined their game and they actually launched the RCE against the players and crashed their games. Now again, this is the most lighthearted way to do an RCE. They could have easily launched some really nasty piece of software and caused some serious harm to these individuals. And for a lot of the players that are currently involved with the Apex Legends Global Series, if you're somebody that has played in this series, then it's probably advisable that you clean your computer out, maybe run some antivirus software, change every single password that you have. Because if you're used to signing in automatically, there are probably tokens that may be stolen. There could be a lot of seriously nefarious stuff. You may have to start changing your passwords around. You might have to deep clean your computer, reinstall your OS, do whatever, because who knows how far this goes, right? Especially for somebody that isn't technically, you know, apt about this situation, deep clean your computer entirely. That's the best thing you can do. And I wouldn't even recommend just the players playing this. If this is a serious RCE issue in Apex Legends, and if you have the game installed, look, you don't have to uninstall Apex right now. As long as you do not launch the game, you are fine. Remember, RCE stuff could potentially happen with any internet application anyways. Even if you're playing a game 
that is not directly a competitive title, even if you're just connecting to another player and it potentially has an RC exploit that hasn't been found, you're also at risk. The best thing you can do is just not fire up a game and enable all of the anti-cheats associated with it. Now, interestingly, Easy Anti-Cheat just responded and said, we've investigated recent reports of a potential RCE issue within Easy Anti-Cheat. At this time, we are confident that there is no RCE vulnerability within EAC being exploited. We will continue to work closely with our partners for any follow-up support needed. Now, to understand, uh, just because they said that they are confident, uh, that doesn't mean that they know. So again, this all boils down to who is actually guilty in this situation. Is it Apex? Is it still a easy anti-cheat? Or is it potentially any other application that these streamers, both of these guys, may have had on their computer that wasn't even related to Apex or even easy anti-cheat. It's actually difficult unless we can get like a memory dump of their system and figure out exactly what happened and where it occurred. That's one of the things I kind of, in a perfect world, I wish we all had to actually analyze. Now, obviously, uh, I always talk about anti-cheats being really invasive on your system. And if easy anti-cheat is to blame, I'm not going to sit here and say anti-cheats aren't a necessity. Clearly, they exist to prevent things like you know, hacking and keeping the fairness in video games. I get it. But this is one of the reasons why I primarily use things like virtual machines, you know, things like KVM, QEMU to virtualize windows underneath Linux, just so I can have an isolated sandbox. So stuff like this happens, it usually just stays in the entire, you know, virtual machine. Now, if you're not somebody that's a Linux user, I made a video a while back where I turned, you know, one GPU into 32, quite literally. I took one 4090 and under Hyper-V, which is Windows' own proprietary virtualization platform, I split GPUs. So basically I was able to give a virtual machine half of my 4090 or half of any graphics card uh, in the the NVIDIA library, and then I could just parsec into the virtual machine and play competitive shooters without ever having to worry about what happens in that game slowly escaping into my system. I really think in the future to fight against stuff like this, we need to have some form of virtualization or sandboxing because I get the idea of, or I get the idea of anti-cheats and systems like this having invasive points on a computer because they need to be on a level head fighting against actual cheating software. But I also believe that a sandbox can exist that verifies file and memory integrity at runtime to basically make sure that I can't peek into a game and it can't peek outside into my actual system. I think a degree of separation and a sandbox is important to basically keep everyone, everything secure as much as it reasonably can. Now, at the end of the day, we have no idea. Again, it's, it's like it is. It's pure speculation. We have no idea if this is a problem with the Apex Legends game. It could be something in the source engine. It could be something that, you know, is wrong with the game. It could be entirely independent of the anti-cheat. Also, it could just be the anti-cheat and not the actual game. Um, I don't believe it's anything related to a modding framework outside like R5 Reloaded, but for now, it is just speculation. Look, at the end of the day, what is known, what is serious is an RCE. If you're playing in the middle of a gaming session and all of a sudden you have code running on your computer, that's not safe. And it can, if it can happen to a streamer, you best, be, you best be ready to know. It may even happen to the average person playing. So be a little careful. Uh, if you are somebody that is playing Apex Legends and you have been hacked, you have, you have had the RCE run, please change all of your passwords deep clean your computer, reinstall your operating system, and that's about the best advice anybody can provide at the moment. But ladies and gentlemen, yeah, wild situation. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike if you dislike it. I am out.